Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect an app service to a Cosmos DB account in a secure manner. I'm going to do this by using two built-in Azure features and those are regional VNet integration and service endpoints. You can deploy your applications like in the architecture that I've shown here, at least when you get started. The problem with this approach is that even though the resources that we have here are both in one region and under one subscription, the communications that happen between these two services are exposed to public internet. This makes our data open to anyone on the internet and that is not a good thing as you know. Using few tools on Azure, we can make the traffic private. And if it is not accessible, no one can hack it, right? We're going to improve this by introducing a new set of features on Azure. We're going to first introduce a virtual network and then we're going to configure regional VNet integration and service endpoint connection from our virtual network to Cosmos DB account. And then we're going to enable VNet access from our virtual network that we're creating here to our Cosmos DB account. After doing everything, the traffic will not go through the public internet. The traffic will go through our virtual network in a secure way. After configuring this, we are going to test whether this path works or not as well. So let's get started. Here I have created this CLI script that will create the resources that we need on Azure. First, we're going to create this resource group and then an app service. After that, a Cosmos DB account, a virtual network a subnet inside of that virtual network as well. I have already run this script. Now let me go into Azure portal and show you. As you can see, we have that resource group and we have all the resources that we have created. We have our virtual network here, the app service, also the app service plan and our Cosmos DB account. And as you can see here, all of our resources are in East US region. Now if I go into the Cosmos DB account here, and to Data Explorer. As you can see, I have already added this sample database and one container and we have three items in that container as well. Also for this demo, I have prepared a sample application. As you can see, basically what this will do is, let me run this application. This will list the records that I have in my Cosmos DB account inside of users container. As you can see here, I'm running this application from my local machine and I can access the Cosmos DB account without any issue. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish this application to the app service that I have created. For that, I'm going into Azure portal again and into that app service. Now let me download the published profile and then publish this application to Azure. All right, as you can see, the publish is a success. Now, if we go into Azure portal and if we go into that link, as you can see, it works and it loads the data from our Cosmos DB account as well. What we have done here is that we have implemented this simple architecture. We have created these two resources on Azure and I've added some data into our Cosmos DB account and I have published an application that reads data from this Cosmos DB account and that is what's happening here now. To secure our application, we need to integrate this with our virtual network. So as you can see, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to enable VNet integration, a regional VNet integration with this virtual network. For that, I'm going into my app service resource and then I'm going into networking section. And here, as you can see, we have VNet integration feature. I'm going in and then as you can see, we do not have any VNets configured. I'm going to add a new VNet, not a new VNet, the one that we have created for this demo. And as you can see, we can integrate this virtual network. And I also have another virtual network as you can see. And it says here requires a virtual network gateway configured with point site VPN here. And this is a more complex setup to do. I'm going to go with this virtual network that I have in the same region as my app service. All right, now I can select a subnet. I'm going to click OK. Now, right, as you can see, it's starting to configure the VNet. This might only take like one minute. All right, as you can see, we have configured 
regional winnet integration and we have a button here to disconnect that as well now let me go into our architecture again we have configured this path here we have configured regional winnet integration the next thing that i'm going to show you is creating winnet access for this cosmos db account for that i'm going into our cosmos db account and then i'm going into firewall and virtual networks and as you can see here we have a load access from all the networks we have to select selected networks here and then i'm going to add existing virtual network here we have the virtual network that i have created i'm going to select that all right and then we can specify the subnet as well as you can see here we have this message the following networks don't have service endpoints enabled for microsoft cosmos db service and when you add this network it will automatically create this service endpoint inside of that virtual network for this demo i'm going to go with this option do not configure service endpoints at this time because we can enable that later going into the virtual network all right i'm going to add this network here and then i'm going to save this as you can see here it is updating the firewall configuration this can take few minutes let's come back after this is done as you can see we have updated the firewall configuration it took around 10 minutes now let me close this and go into our web app and let's try refreshing this web app as you can see the web application cannot access the cosmos db account now if you look at our architecture this was our architecture initially we have improved that to this one here now what we have done so far is that we have enabled regional winnet integration and we have added winnet access and we have not created service endpoint yet as you can see this does not work and if i go into visual studio and run this that also doesn't work now let me complete the final piece of the puzzle i'm going into azure portal and then i'm going into resource groups and here we have our resource group i'm going into the virtual network and service endpoints and as you can see we do not have any service endpoints if i go into our architecture again what this will do is regional vnet integration this will allow traffic from our app service into our virtual network and what VNet Access does is that it will allow traffic from our virtual network into Cosmos DB and it blocks access from any other networks. The final thing that we're going to configure is that we are going to allow this virtual network to access Cosmos DB using a service endpoint. What happens here is that your traffic will not go over the internet. The traffic will go through Azure Backbone Network when you enable service endpoints to these platform as a service services this service it does not have to be a cosmos db account it can be any other platform as a service service provider as well now let me go back into azure portal and click add here now we have to select the type of service that we're going to enable this virtual network to access i'm going to select azure cosmos db and then we have to specify the subnet to which we are enabling this access i'm going to select the only subnet that we have inside of the virtual network i'm going to add this service endpoint now all right now if i go into the app and let me try refreshing it as you can see the app works the traffic now is going from our app service through our virtual network to our cosmos db account now let me try to run the application that i have in my local machine as you can see I cannot access the Cosmos DB account through the public internet. The only path that works is this path we have created. And this is the end of this video. And in this video, we learned about regional VNet integration and service endpoints and how to enable private access from an app service to a Cosmos DB account. If you have further questions or comments, please let me know down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today. I will see you with another video like this. And thanks for watching.